band is way by the powerhouse I saw. I thought the band would be in, but I guess it would be kind of hard for them to speak when, you know. They have a band here today. That's pretty cool. They're playing oh, 20s music. And they're also in the sun. With the hot instruments. And they were dressed as a band, so. Yeah. Old timey. Old timey band. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Ghosts. How are you? Ghosts. Do you want a sticker? Do you want a nice little ghost sticker? Thank you. Here you go. Have your pick there. We were wondering about the ghosts in this jail. Is this jail also haunted? It's supposed to be haunted, yes. Do you know any of the stories about it? And well actually I do. Um well I don't know. Your little girl's she's maybe ready for it. Is she's she's all That's she's all in for today. it? Looking for the ghosts? Well, People that visited the prison claim that they've seen the apparitions of some of the people that were actually executed here. So right here. often, yeah, because this is, yeah, this, was the this was the area. Yeah. So I guess they see people f floating slightly off the floor and they assume that those are the people that were hung because their feet would not touch. Right. Yeah. Yeah. A little scary. I'm sorry. No, no, she's, it's okay. okay. She's ready for it. And also, they say that there's a lot of activity in the areas where the criminals used to live, and one area on the top floor is believed to be haunted by an inmate who committed suicide. And actually, I did research yesterday. I found out the name of the uh, the haunted of uh, the person that hung himself here yesterday. Yeah, his name is Alex Go Garbolinski, and he hung himself. He was charged with robbing the Royal Bank in West Kildonan and in Oh, really? Yeah. So, so yeah. Any ghost stories? Come back and visit, and please do. And they say there's a lady that they see in the window upstairs at the front of the yeah, building. Yeah. They see a lady there. I saw a lady walking in. Did you really? One of the oh. <laughs> I think she was acting as maybe. Darn. Oh. You had me going there for a oh, second. Yeah, no, no. Uh -huh. We've had different yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so there's uh, a lot of spooky things, things moving here, noises and stuff. So, hi. So, we're not really, our stories aren't for little kids, but... If, if your mom would care to take a card and, and you if definitely you can listen, stories, sure. Come back, share. Yeah. Be on the podcast. Yeah. I can tell you when you're off the podcast. Yeah. We've been, we've been here for, we've been doing it for four years. So. Yeah. Yeah. But we, we drink and swear a little bit. We're not like, so. But when we go out to events like this, you know, we, we keep it GP, PG. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, we've got 148 episodes now. So, yeah, we've been doing a... F this is my, my fill-in. My partner can be here this afternoon. My partner and I were at the St. Boniface Museum this morning. And then tomorrow we're going to be at the Mirage theme suites to check it out. Because it's really old there, too. So, yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, my God. It's Susan. Look at that, hey? Oh my god! <laughs> Winnipeg's best TikToker and famous TikToker. <laughs> How many followers do you have? Like seriously? Nine thousand now. Holy shit, yeah, lady! This week, nine thousand. So wow, good for you. Well, nice to meet you. I want to. I want to give you a hug. In fact. Yes, please. Oh. <gasps> Look at your sweet little ghosties. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Are you enjoying awesome. your day? I am. Yeah. You know, it's so funny. I came and I. Group of people, they were obviously finishing up a tour. Yes, yes. And I peeked and I couldn't see. So I'm like, well, oh, there's lots of vehicles. Maybe you had to go somewhere else. So I went yeah, yeah. to the tent and they said, well, maybe they're out front. So I was spent at time. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it should have been all. more clear. So it should have been more clear. No, sorry about that. Don't even worry about it. I got to listen to the band. Beautiful. I bought a book. Beautiful. And then I found you. So and then you found good. us. Yeah. Awesome. Me and my husband were going to be at the Mar Mirage theme suite tomorrow. Yes, so. and that was what I was, that's what I was saying but too. If thank I you. you, I would have caught up with you tomorrow. Yeah, but thank you. You are the reason why we're going there. I had no idea it was haunted. I mean, you one would assume, you know? Yeah, but you know, it's funny. Like, they put it in their doors open thing. So I wonder oh. if it's not just to get people out. Entice? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but... I'm curious too. Sure. So. Uh, I did some research on it. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. There is a couple of weird little things. Um, well, I haven't done the things. newspaper end of the research yet because yeah. uh, I didn't have time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you fall down a rabbit hole when you do that, you know? It's, it's just like so you see something true. else, it's just like, oh, okay. People don't realize, but it's like so interesting. Right? Yeah, you yeah. Put on all the different various threads of everything. Yeah, for sure. Where have you been today? Um, I started out at City Hall. Okay long time since I was a kid yeah yeah um, hi there uh, 75 Albert okay um, which is new this year Wilson something right anyway, it's, right it's like studios it's a great building okay yeah yeah lovely um, and then from there I went to the 
Costume Museum. That's always nice. Hi there. Uh, then Holy Trinity. I was christened there. Oh, wow. Ago, so look at I that. I visit the baptismal font where yeah. I was baptized. That's cool. Um, I don't attend church there, but well, the pastor yeah. is lovely, so mm-hmm. I always go and chat with him once a year. Yeah, yeah. I say it's to make sure it's structurally sound. <laughs> <laughs> make sure it's still standing. Yes, exactly. Yeah. There are some significant cracks, but it's not my fault. Yeah. Um, and then from there, I went to the Y, because the Y is new this yeah, year. Yeah, that is different, isn't it? Well, and it's because it's a heritage building. Right. But they've done some, like, amazing renos, uh, they said about seven years ago. To kind of keep it in, Well, like, it's like they've opened it up. It's got, like, a skylight. It is not at all what you would expect from oh, the exterior. Right. I was surprised. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's beautiful and bright and light, which oh, okay. you don't often get with a historical building. No, for sure. You know what they should have had? And I wouldn't have had time this year. It was, like, a last minute to be involved with Doors Open. To one place I would have loved to go on in again we've never recorded there but just during doors open is the uh the old um arena here the uh, provincial building the archives building yes back in 2019 is that even open this time no yes no. i didn't think so because i was kind of looking but then they kept adding and adding and then this mm-hmm. morning a lot I of churches went, yeah yeah i mean they're always hard. and that's okay yeah i mean that's okay I, and i love looking at churches because yeah. they have a beautiful state glass oh for sure like yeah yeah but um but yeah i would have loved to see the archives building oh yeah sure. it's amazing because last time, apparently, uh, they were running, um, I'm not too sure, it was four years ago, I can't remember, me and Jen went after we did Dalvnart, and Cher couldn't be with us then, she did Dalvnart, but then we were just, we came here for shits and giggles, we went there, and, because uh, it was open, it was just like, just such a beautiful building, because that was originally the first arena, right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. they had like an ice rink in the basement and like a theater and everything and it's still there so That's they were running yeah they were running every hour every two hours they were taking like 10 or 20 people downstairs you couldn't just freely walk around right. yeah. so unfortunately timing we couldn't get to go see the basement so it was like i gotta go see the basement next time you know though i do feel like this is the first year back sort of post pandemic like truly lot, yeah so maybe next year they'll be yeah. more on it because i i've noticed there are some buildings that are normally part of it like the marlboro is one too Right. They change ownership, though, so I feel like... Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much. Can I have a couple Oh, for this? sure. Definitely. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, you I should. come with me. I think I'm going to pack some of those away, hey? He wants to come with me, obviously. They're for the kids, Susan. <laughs> and also me. That's okay. You're special. I like to pretend I'm a child. That's okay. Oh, I like this guy because he's like 3D. It, it's kind of blurry. Blurry, blurry vision. Me and, me and Cher figured out this morning, we found the one we want. We put it on our, we call this our magnetic sphere of fortune. We don't do Ouija boards, but this is as close as it I gets. It. <laughs> it does the job. They're all so, they're all so cute. Aren't they? Yeah. Love Emporium. Okay. It's just like right by my house. Like Love Nest? <laughs> what are you trying no. to tell me? L-O-V-E, something like local, oh, okay. blah, blah, blah. I bought my West Kildonan t-shirt there. Okay. Do you have a ghost story to share with us, Susan? You know, I do not have one of my own. Okay. But I can share with my dad's. Sure. He's no longer with us. Okay. Um, so, my dad, my family is British. We, they emigrated here from England. So I was born here, but he grew up okay. there. Okay, yeah. And um, where... Where he's from is uh, Cheshire. Hi! (laughs) And he was always very fascinated with Roman history, and it's because in that area there was often Roman buildings and architecture. Yep. So, and I think it's because when he was younger, so he would have been a teenager, not a child, but a young teenager, so like Mm -hmm. 13, 14. Um, He was coming home from something, soccer or something like that, and um, there was a there had been a Roman wall, okay. but it was no longer sort of where, you know, because things move and Yeah, shift, oh yeah, right? totally. Yeah, yeah. And are partly buried. But he saw soldiers walking wow. on what would have been um, like a bridge Yeah. that was now much, much lower, but they were where it would have been. And they floated past him and he ran home. <laughs> That's freaky. Yeah. And then so as an adult, he was always very fascinated with Roman of course. everything. Yeah. I, um, when he passed, I took all of his Roman books. Nice. And his Roman ghost story. And now you know it too. Very nice. Well, thanks for sharing. You bet. Yeah. I haven't thought of that in a long time. But yeah, I remember him telling me when I was a kid. And I'm like, oh, that's so creepy. So creepy. When did he creepy. start getting obsessed with Roman? Like, I feel that was his past life. 
You know, maybe. You know, maybe. Absolutely, and we believe in that. Like, um, it's so funny. Because um, Anglican is not typically, they don't no. say no. reincarnation is a thing, right? Catholic light. But my. <laughs> 100% that. Yeah, yeah. Catholic, but not quite. But yeah, it's not. It's like one step removed. It's so Henry VIII could get married, let's face it. Right. Or he could get divorced and then remarry. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, no, we, he always believed in reincarnation, as did I. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because we talked about it. And in fact, when I would have been in my early 20s and I was coming back here to visit, I was at, away at school in Thunder Bay at the time. And there was a. a an exhibit at the WAG, oh. and there was a portrait of a lady. Um, oh, good idea! And he connected with this; like he could not stop staring at this because he swore he knew her, mm. and it was a painting from like the 1600s. Hmm. Interesting. And he thought he knew her. Yeah, hmm. I even bought him the catalog of the paintings afterwards because yeah, he yeah. was so obsessed. Like yes, yeah, yeah, really hmm. caught up in it. Yeah. It's funny yeah. how that you know I do I do firmly believe that you know what what we connected with in a previous life yeah. we'll resonates always, will yeah, always yeah. not necessarily come back, but it's just like just like when you have a dream and it just like it just seems so real, you yes. know. Yeah. I think it's I think we actually travel to like other dimensions I'm kind of weird like that but yeah, you know yeah. I do feel that there is some connection and they do say that that is very possible right string I, theory like all that kind of stuff right like I'm scared of heights so I always you think in a past yeah, yeah I think something yeah. happened in a past and as a child I always I'm had to have fire and yeah. the same thing and I've got this um birth mark on my neck and it was when I was a child it was much more noticeable yeah, yeah. and it looks like a little that but I always used to say it's because I was burnt at the stake at for a witch. But there like you go. Before, like when I was really, really young. Yeah, so yeah. Like part of me kind of believes, like, where did I come up with yeah, that? Yeah, exactly. I was a very imaginative child, though. So yeah. to be fair. Well, but, when yeah, I was a child, I, I used to have. Fire for no reason. Yeah, I used to have to have the blanket to my neck because I felt so, I had to protect my neck. So I don't know what happened with my neck in a previous right. life, but I was that from a young age, like at least seven. Yeah. Just want to my battery's okay. But I'm yeah. scared of heights, but I also fell from somewhere really high. And I okay. wasn't scared of heights before that. But the, the fire thing has been with me my whole life where I couldn't light a candle until I was in my 20s. Wow, that's pretty intense. Yeah, now I'm yeah. kind of over it, but in that way. But I don't love yeah. campfires. Hello. So I have to stay Hello. really far back. <laughs> Someone else has to be in charge of the campfire. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want any campfire responsibility. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, huh. yeah. I believe in all that too. For yeah. sure, for sure. I'm curious about everything I see around me, so I'm yeah, yeah. looking stuff up, which is kind of where the, the TikTok cool. got started. Yeah, you should see her TikTok. She she covers so much uh, the Winnipeg stuff, the history, everything. Yeah, it's amazing. A little bit of everything. Yeah, no. But yeah, mostly history because that's my favorite thing. But mm-hmm. often it takes more time to make those. So of, oh yeah, sometimes totally. it's just like a stupid trend you can just hop on, and that's like a yeah, yeah. second thing that's easier. <laughs> Hi guys. But always Winnipeg. Always yeah. stuff. That's cool. And kudos to you for keeping keeping it alive. The good parts of Winnipeg, that yes, is. Well, I mean, you know, because I get flack if you read through my comments. Yeah. Hi there. Um, oh, Peter. Oh. <laughs> Peter. Peter. Jeez, you know Peter. What? Peter is at least kind. Like, he never comes for me personally. Oh, okay. He does kind of it's a city. He, he has, like, yeah. Yes, he doesn't yeah. like Winnipeg, but he... He's from Toronto, though. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Toronto, the center right? of the world. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But, like, some people are actually rude and call me stupid or delusional oh, yeah. because I, I say nice things about downtown. But it's like there's enough people that comment and tear down Exactly. Winnipeg. A lot of activity. I don't need to contribute no. my voice to that. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not delusional and I see everything. And you're but showing, showing the good stuff. That's right. And you're showing people, like, people that live here don't even know of stuff and you're showing it to them. Yeah, like, that. I yeah, think that's yeah. great. You know? And that's my favorite. I mm-hmm. love that. When, when yeah. someone says, oh, I've lived here so long and I've never seen this or yeah. I didn't know that. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Well, you're the reason why we're going mar- to Mariachi tomorrow. I know. Well, I, you know what? I need to go there, too. So I'll try yeah. to hook up with you again tomorrow. That'd be great. To ma- monopolize your time. So I, oh, no, that's fine. So I can say, you know, that way I can say to my husband, see, I told you I'd, I'd take you here some point. <laughs> 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 anyway. No, that's awesome. Yay. Yeah. So, well, yeah. Well, it was nice. And, uh, yeah, like, if you ever want to come on our show when we record yes, in the pod yeah. lounge, that would be nice. Yeah. We're, mm-hmm. we're well, uh, where it's in, in my house. Yeah. Because I walk in bike. Oh, do you? So okay. <laughs> well, maybe we can come to you. Well, maybe we can come to you then. So. Well, I'm sure we can figure something Hi there. out when you're, when maybe you're not so do you want Do you want a little ghost sticker? Yeah, you do. You want to pick a sticker? 
<laughs> sure. Everybody loves the ghost stickers. It's a big draw. Now, if I could just get them with our little logos on there. Oh, no kidding. Or, you know. Yeah. yeah it'd be nice with the Giving up the ghost right? podcast. Yeah. yeah. But these were so cute. I'm like, how could I not? Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, if you have a ghost story, you could be on it. That's right. <laughs> Got any ghost stories? We're all about the ghosts. Sharing the ghost love. This is our original ghosty that we brought to, like, we don't get out often. And I made a bunch of these too to sell, but he's our like little mascot. My daughter made him in sewing or something, I think. Oh, really? And I just kind of yeah. took it. You're welcome. Yay. Yeah, have a good day. You're welcome. Everyone likes ghost swag. I know, ghost swag, free swag. Yeah, I got cups. I got a little bit of everything. I just, you know, I started a store, but I just don't have that time. No, so. it's hard, right? I'm, I'm hoping to retire early at some point and maybe that'll be my thing. Um, among everything else Good plan. so yeah i got fuzzies yeah that girl that walked past you that was my neighbor from the cottage she's volunteering downstairs there was a girl that, that went hi what anyway have on her face? What is that i don't know i guess dirt it's supposed to be like dirt oh, i guess I it was a disease or something. no <laughs> <laughs> uh, so funny oh no worries yeah she must get tired of saying the same thing oh, every God, time yeah, she's good though she's yeah. very good her name's amanda want to talk to her later oh my battery's still hanging in there touch wood i should put a sticker on the back of my phone my phone's so boring well actually when you open up my screen it's got it behind yes. it so nice 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 your writing is executions really big. well that was just sloppy writing no i mean on your phone is it yes that's not normal <laughs> get out <laughs> You can leave now. <laughs> Mental note, T is not allowed to come back and co-host with me when Cher's not here. Let me just write this. <laughs> let me just write that down in my big writing. Yeah, in your un unusually large writing. And then, and, then she'll, and then she'll message me all of a sudden, you know, I don't respond anymore. <laughs> yeah. Let's go for lunch. Hi. You'll be ghosting her. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Hi there. Hi. Yeah, please take a card for sure. Oh, some barn burner happening. I know. That's gorgeous. I, I do enjoy that we have very similar, like, very close. like palette here. Like, it's I was, really good. I was debating to go purple, purple, but mine goes red and then lighter. So uh, that's why I always kind of stick with the red now because it just always just goes red. Everything. Yeah. Even the purple goes red. I don't yeah, know. Does, yeah. yeah. Like, Fuzzy? Well, oh, oh, thank it. you. you <laughs> we're talking about your hair. That's yeah. what started. Yours is gorgeous. Uh, not too sure. But yeah, it's out that way. Yeah, yeah. We do the history and the hauntings, eh? So I do the research and then um, got some of the hauntings here. But I mean, it's all individual. Yeah. I picked up. I already have the haunted Winnipeg one by Matthew. Kumis. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Itself. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Ooh. something just flew away. Jeez. Might have been a receipt. Jeez, um, yeah, it's Kristen. Yeah, I think yeah. Receipt, like, flew away. Oh, that's one of the ghosties. Oh, no. Well, someone's going to grab it. Somebody's going like, to grab it. Oh. Well, you got to pick another one now. Yeah, Kristen's really nice. We've interviewed her a couple times, and I used to go on her tours. Like, I've been on at least ten of her tours. Hello. We do. Uh, if if you go back to our back catalog, like 148 episodes now, so it's kind of hard to remember what's what. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we did interview her back in 2019 on a Friday night when they were setting up for this one. Really good interview. Like it was a really, but just the wealth of information she has i've always loved her tours yeah. i love the tours where you actually spend like three hours in one location because you do see and feel things oh sure yeah. oh yeah, yeah totally you said you've been to Dolnavert? oh yeah, yeah yeah we were at Dolnavert. um actually side note my my mother-in-law she was quite famous uh she's passed now for four years ago but she had an inn at the uh where are these seats coming from um she had an inn uh, to the Dolvin over because she worked for them as a consult like for the gift shop when they open up that new section yeah. and uh, and then I helped her in 2018 set up they asked her to come back for 
uh, doors open to help, like, you know, just do stuff and whatever. And uh, she used to always, like, hear the, the doorbell ring, uh, like, the service, the service button. Yeah. But then she would get upstairs uh, and it's disconnected, actually. Yeah, it, it didn't work yeah. anymore. And she would also smell Hugh John's cigar smoke quite frequently in his study. Yeah, it was really cool. So, I mean, we've, we've always been part of Dalvin or Navart in some ways. And then we did 2019. We recorded some voices on there. And Interesting. Yeah. I'm, I'm on their board. <gasps> Are you really? Yeah. So you can get us in? I mean, it would just be kind of cool. Tea, no, but, but it would be cool to go inside and just record on a slow day, you know? I can ask for yeah. sure. Yeah. I mean, I would know who to ask. Yeah. Which would be easier than you asking but it, it's, on your own, for sure. Yeah. But I, I don't... I would never pull a favor like that. But, um, oh, I don't mind asking. Yeah. <laughs> it would have I to be... I also say no, right? <laughs> well, they've had us there before. Um, they gave us the the inner uh, they gave us the uh the tour actually the day before door, doors open so yeah. we got the full tour and, oh now you've got some fuzzies sure in your hair you. yeah um Everywhere. but actually where we were just at just now at the museum one of the girls that either works there or volunteers there she says she's got tons of stories of seven oaks and of um the dolphin art and i was telling her how you know seven we recorded oaks, yeah. yeah and i told her how we recorded at the dolphin art and she's like oh she's like uh I, I work there part time or a volunteer, and I know so and so. She's the curator all about the paranormal. She said, "There's a cu- I can't she, Inish 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 something Inid." Anyway, so yes. she, yeah, she said that she's all about the paranormal. So I would even already considering just you know, like I'm not talking about any event, any activity. Just if it's a slow day, can yeah, we come yeah. down for a few hours yeah. and just record? Because we kind of to no, not yet. Should, I know. Yeah. And, Yeah. Oh, I know. Because yeah. you've been on the tours there, too. You know, like, the trolley? The Winnipeg trolley does, like, a haunted oh, yeah, trolley yeah, tour. Yeah. Trolley of Terror oh, or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. October, right, yeah. We did that, and we went to, se- we went to Seven Oaks. And um, there's, like, the upstairs, lots of people feel like you're getting a migraine. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I was prone, not now, but I used to be prone to right. migraines, and I absolutely felt like that. Oh, sure. I like, a paranormal group. Yeah, just the wind's kind of like taking them, so... They had recordings. So it was after dark. Very cool. Yeah, and we, they had like the what do you call that machine that like goes K two the meter. Table. They had yeah. that, but mm-hmm. they also had the infrared. No, the thing that hears the voices, like it. Goes oh the yeah, a ghost, uh, ghost box, spirit yeah. box. But yeah. it didn't pick up Thank any. You. You're welcome. But I live right by there. Like I walked with oh, my dog okay. every yeah. day past that. And it's really funny in the neighborhood, though. It's it's like a neighborhood kind of like the grounds. Mm-hmm. Kids are playing in there. Oh yeah, it's yeah. attached to like Thank a park, right? Oh yeah. yeah. And well, uh, yesterday I was walking by, and oh, there was kids the playing football in the grounds of the Seven Oaks Museum. And I'm like, oh god, they're like over people's graves. Oh, the biggest battle in um, it's Seven Oaks. Manitoba there, was yeah. Right where the IGA is. Yeah. Yes, that's really mm-hmm. I mean, I know. Yeah. I don't think and about that. Yeah. That is a re- I hate that parking lot. I yeah. hate that strip mall. It's yeah. always giving me really bad vibes mm-hmm. whenever I go there. Yeah. I can tell Susan a really funny story. Hi there. Hi. The ghost story to no. Share? By all <laughs> me if if you want to about, know about ghost stories, take a card for sure. Yep. Do you want a sticker? So the house that uh Teresa used to tea. Huh, used to <laughs> <laughs> so much for the incognito. Um <laughs> That she used to live in, uh, there was quite a bit of activity, like mostly I think because of her ex, now ex, that was living there. It would only happen to him. And I think the spirit was very protective because she knew he was a bad dude, right? right? And there's a lot of weird stuff happening in her house, you know, and, and there definitely was somebody there. And we found who was there. I went through the records. We did the deep dive. She was one of our first searches. We found the name of the lady that was haunting the house, but she was good to her and her daughter. And the other guy had to go, you know what yes. I'm saying? Like yes. bad news, right? Yes. So uh, I was haunting in West Kildonan, and if you want to look back on that one. So anyway, so we uh, we went to uh, um, the Grand Bazaar in Stonewall, because that's what my mother-in-law owned at the time. Her name was Mara Kentner, um, so she owned and ran a lot of stuff in, in the province, right? So uh, just a wealth of ghost stories and knowledge. So we sat with her in her store in Stonewall on a Saturday, and she told us some of her good ghost stories, you know, through through the years and stuff, because she comes from, uh, oh, I can't 
menopause brain fart um but she's owned all these stores she owned the nunnery out in st francis and oh, you know yeah, yeah. yeah and all this stuff so anyway mark kent are a very cool woman and after we left her then we went to go to teresa's place for an interview and tell her who we did this magnetic sphere of fortune and we talked with teresa and stuff so we had to go pick up you know just i never come empty handed we stopped off at the iga there in west um not west Kildonan, in in uh, seven oaks right and we go there and we pick up snacks and stuff. Everybody was aggressive. Everybody was just rude in the store. Everybody just had just a whole horrible negative demeanor. It's just like, what's wrong with these people? Yeah. You go to the liquor store two doors over, everybody's happy and it's a grand old time. And then when it was so bad, just the whole attitude of everybody. Hi there. It was just so bad that we told Teresa, like, what's wrong with the people? She goes, oh, that one. She goes, well, you know what happened there? And we're like, no. She goes, that's where the massacre of Seven Oaks happened. It's like, well, that's why everybody was so negative. Like, it was just yeah. night and you day. You know what's weird, too? Mm -hmm. Any carton of milk I bought there Spoil? goes sour like a week before it's supposed to go sour. Oh, that's kind of creepy. It's so unusual now because things will last yeah. longer than they're yeah. best before, That's creepy. Right? Yeah. Like I never buy any dairy products from that place anymore. Oh, that's, it yeah. Goes bad. That's really creepy. <laughs> hmm. Yes. What does that say? <laughs> so, so you haven't done the Marlboro, but you know the ghost story. We did talk about, oh yeah, I actually went on a ghost tour before there was a Kristen. I went on a ghost tour and it was called All About Ghosts. And we went in there and we spent a few hours in there. Yeah. A couple hours in there. Really cool. Yeah, I know some stories of that okay. one. Yeah, okay. But we did cover it on our podcast, but we haven't been in there. It, you know what it. that's just it because we've approached places to come and record that we know is haunted and people yeah. and then they want no part of it unless yeah. it's halloween of course then come on down yes, exactly. you know because yeah. uh yeah. Yeah, they yeah. feel that a lot of people it'll bring negative business but no actually if anything anybody you talk to it would be more curious and want to come they don't get that yeah yeah Oh yeah, if there was like something really like, like you know, like horrible murder. Since at the, at Marlboro? The, yes. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Those aren't the ones that are sort of attributed to ghosts mm -hmm. necessarily. But it's like that, that horrible... And St. Albert? Albert? Yeah. Horrible. horrible yeah. Death. Dismembered so, and... Yes, yeah. and like just, just like... Horror movie level, yeah. Yes. Horror movie level stuff. Yeah, totally. Um, so yeah, they're not going to advertise that. No, of course. But you know what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right yeah. you know because time and distance of course things are just less but and you know and you know i i, I don't know i was watching or doing research because I, I i'm into all this kind of stuff um i did uh hi i did see this one thing where they discussed um and it, it's statistically it's a proven fact that there are so many people that die in hotels like i'm oh, talking your dies yeah. your days in everything because either either people die in their sleep right yeah. and not, it doesn't have to be violent or not just that uh, just the fact being that, you know, sometimes people, if if they know that they're sick, well, clinical even, fact, because people, people go through there in a year, right? Yeah. I mean, statistically, yeah. there's going to be a certain percentage. But if, if people are suffering from a disease and, and close to dying, they don't want to die in front of their family, they'll check into a hotel or, I've of course, commit that. suicide. Mm -hmm. kill yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is uh, it is a very high statistic, so yeah, grim, sense. but grim, but factual. very factual. Yeah. I'm so excited to have met you. Yeah. Oh, no, for sure. I love, we love meeting like minded people because you don't find that too often. You get the people, you get the people that be like, oh, I don't believe in ghosts. They don't exist. That stuff's not real. But there was this one time, book f levitated off the table. Mm -hmm. Oh, but you don't believe. Okay. Like everybody, everybody has a story, whether they believe it or not. You know, yeah. denial. And I'm not sure how much I believe. Uh, unless it happens, yeah. Right? Because I've never personally, but I'm open to it. And I'm yeah. fascinated by the stories yeah and um, like i love a good ghost story. okay i just heard screaming did you hear a scream yeah i did coming from inside there well they're acting downstairs in the basement oh, though okay <laughs> bloody murder although you know i do um, i in october i do a tour sometimes um yeah and i'll bring people here as a last stop and we come here and they say it's the gallows was set up 13 steps from the door so i make like oh yeah Right. So I make like a volunteer walk for 13 steps and then all the time. Oh. It's like, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I love all the spooky stuff. I'm all mm -hmm. about the spooky stuff. Me too. Me too. I love it. I should probably save this at some point.
Where do they find us, Cher? Uh, Game of the Ghost Podcast at gmail.com. Excellent. And we're everywhere. We're Facebook. spread around the world. Like, yeah, like icing, icing. on us. Uh, and remember to live every day like it is your last. But never give up the ghost. Never give up the ghost. Bye-bye. Bye, nice. <laughs>